Something New, a brand new line of holsters from Stealth Gear USA, called the Revolution. What's revolutionary? Well, let's take a look. <laughs> First, I want to thank Stealth Gear for sending me both of these. They provided these two holsters to me so that I could do this evaluation and bring you an early review of this new product. So again, thanks to the folks at Stealth Gear for doing that. So we have two styles, both fitted for the same gun. I'll show you that in a second. But here are the two styles of the new Revolution holster. Here is the, the wider traditional double clip with the... Uh, combat cut or abbreviated cut however you want to call that here is the smaller narrower sized holster I know a lot of people like those thinner holsters to me it kind of depends on what I'm wearing and you know where I'm going and all that kind of stuff they're both very good um, and they're two nice alternatives to the same issue right okay so what sets the stealth gear revolution apart from the other stealth gear holsters well Really, what it comes down to is the thickness. Check this guy out. He is just pancake thin on the back side. One of the things about Stealth Gear holsters, you've probably heard me talk about them before. I'm a huge fan. They are about the most comfortable and practical holster you can ever use. One of the small downsides about their holsters that some people have complained about is their thickness because the back is so padded. It's got those three layers um, that it does actually add some thickness, obviously, to the carry of your pistol. So I know that some people, you know, for them, that's a real downside. Well, this might just be the answer because now you've got all the really good stuff about a Stealth Gear holster with this super, super thin back. Okay, so let's take a Let's focus on this particular model. This is my favorite. This is the style that I wear the most often. It's about 8 inches by 8 inches in size. It doesn't weigh anything. They say it weighs 4 ounces, and it doesn't even feel like it weighs that much to me. Um, it is, again, a combat cut, which is my preference. I cannot stand having to put my thumb between my handgun and the backer of a holster in order to draw it. I think that's an incredible um, risk, to be honest with you. It is very adjustable in terms of both the tilt or cant and the ride height. You can see you've got three holes on either side to choose from, and you can put your clip in any of those, so any of those combinations. What it has in common with all of the Stealth Gear holsters, though, is this breathability. You can see that diamond cut-through pattern, and clearly you can see that blue material behind it. So even though you've got this thin material, which is an interesting material. This is, material is called ACX57. Very resistant to perspiration or chemicals or, you know, anything of that nature. It's also pretty safe for the finish of your gun. And, of course, the inside is Kydex. I always recommend running some silicone on any surface that's going to be touching the uh, handgun. But this is a really nice, durable, and yet safe for your handgun finish material. It's got a cool sort of a pebbled pattern here on the outside. On the inside it's a lot smoother and softer to go against your body. All the fasteners are stainless steel coated with a black oxide so they should be very durable and last for a really long time. Both of the holster styles are tuckable. You can easily get a shirt between the clip and the holster. The clips are polymer. They are injection molded. They are very, very tough and durable. So I've been wearing this particular holster for about two weeks now. And um, pretty much since the day after I got it. And it is very comfortable. It is definitely living up to the Stealth Gear name. But I can also kind of appreciate that extra thinness too, which is nice. Especially since I've put on a few extra pounds. This particular Stealth Gear holster is for the 45 Shield. So just to give you an idea of the fit, 
and the look and the positioning. So if we hold the holster kind of in the upright position, you can see the tilt. You've got that sort of 15 degree tilt there. Perfect 100% trigger guard coverage. And this thing just fits so nicely. The molding that they do is exquisite around your gun. Every holster is custom made for the model it's made for. So they don't just have a whole bunch of backs that they slap the shell on the front of and so on. The entire holster is custom made to fit the gun that you order it for. And to give you an idea for the smaller holster, there's how the fit looks for that. This is a little more of a straight fit. Okay, so I read your mind. You said, hey, this is a holster review. I want to see the holster being worn. <laughs> you know, don't just hold it in front of the camera. So here I am wearing the holster. As you can see, like any good inside the waistband holster, it conceals very well, wears very flat against your body. You don't need a very bulky concealment garment in order to hide this thing. It also rides very deep into the waistline, something that I like. Again, that combat cut makes it so that when you go to draw, you can get your thumb right behind the handle of that pistol, right where you need it, get your full grip, then draw the handgun. It draws clean and smooth, reholsters well with one hand. All the good things that an inside the waistband holster should do. I like the double clip design of like that in pretty much every inside the waistband holster that I've worn for a long time. That's kind of been my preference. It helps to distribute whatever weight you have. It also, to me, just makes it feel a little bit more secure. It makes it feel like, you know, I've got it holding onto my belt in two different places. I feel better about that. So whether you wear at like the four o'clock position where I am now, three o'clock position or whatever, um, this is a very comfortable holster. It's very shallow. Of course, depends on the gun, right? But it's only coming down to about here. And again, it sinks really low into the waistband, but you can adjust that. If you like it higher, you can make it higher. If you want it to tilt more, you can make it tilt more. If you want it to tilt back for some reason, you can make it tilt back. So it's very adjustable, but it's very thin. It's not as thick as the other Stealth Gear holsters, which are more padded. So if your preference is to sacrifice a little bit of that softness and padding for a thinner holster, this might just be the one for you. And the other thing Stealth Gear has addressed with this holster is some people's complaints about, wow, I love your products, they look fantastic, but it's just a little too rich for my blood. This holster, the Stealth Gear Revolution, $59. That's a good deal. Okay, and if you're curious and you want to see what the smaller, slimmer holster looks like, there it is. It's also a double clip. What this one is good for a lot of times is finding your way around those awkwardly placed belt loops. <laughs> 